hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will be showing you how you can read the older versions of delta table using time travel so when i say older versions it means let's say the uh, currently the table has 10 records but earlier it was having 12 records it means two records got deleted but now i wanted to go one step back and read that version of delta table which has 12 records okay so that is the beauty of delta tables so let's see how we can do it i have the delta table location over here okay and uh, i wanted to see the history of this delta table so i can use delta table class which has for path as a method okay and what you need to pass is spark as well as the delta table location it will give you the object of delta table. So I'll say delta table information. Let's say. And just to show you what I can do, I can mm, now since we have this delta table object, right? We can get the history of delta table. Okay. So yes, I wanted to store it as a real table history. Okay, and let's print it. Display this value. Okay, so if you see, I have my delta table history here and the latest version is ninth, the version which we have right now. And if you see in the ninth, ninth version we have total 99 records so let me show you directly and I can show you like what all 99 records we have simply or do we have 99 or not okay obviously it's it will be showing you 99 only yeah so this is the latest version we have and the latest version of delta table is if you see here nine okay so either you can use this version okay or you can use a read version anything will be fine okay you can use read version or normal version both will be unique but generally we use version as of okay now since i have this versions i can simply go and read this version eight i will show you so to read this version i can use spark dot read dot format since it's a delta i can write delta dot option and here i will specify which option i wanted to use i wanted to use version as of oh sorry yeah as of and here i can specify the version let's say eight it's hard coded as of now we will change it in some time and then here i can specify the delta table location <clears throat> sorry so this is my delta table location string object has no attribute as options option this is string we did something long format i'm using then this i'm using okay sorry my bet yeah let's run it yeah so now we have our data frame so if i can show you this i can simply put it in the display or i can save it and write it in again but it will be a time consuming task so if you see now we have 100 records it means we traveled one step back and we now we are able to fetch these 100 records okay so now you can use uh, you can check you can uh, see the difference like which one record you have deleted okay or or got deleted you can find the differences i'm not going to cover the difference how you can find it but you can do it right because you already time traveled and you saw the previous versions in the same way you can go previous versions also like three and run it and this time if you see you, you are getting 230 records. It means at the third version, it was having 13 records. Let's see the first version, what we had. Only 16 rows, okay? So this way you can time travel back and you can watch 
or you can see what all records you have in your table okay now as of now if you see this value is hard coded but in the ideal scenarios in the real world we don't do it right we need this value to be uh, to be like customized or to be get on the real time okay or runtime okay so to get this value at runtime you can use the same object what you have created just now to get the history right this one delta table information and from this one i will show you different ways to get this version number okay so first one is you can use history okay let's say the last history and uh, uh yeah you can say last history or something whatever you want and from this history you can directly okay so if you run this first of all i'll show you instead of directly doing it if i show you it will give you the last the latest version of the delta table okay now you need this number right if you wanted to read any version you need this number so you have this information as a row okay spark row now you can either use okay so i'll show you the all the ways what you can do you can simply use okay first and uh, column name like person and you can print it and see what it will give you see it gave you nine now you know you wanted to go back only so what you can do you can do minus one you'll get it okay again this is somehow hard coded this is the first way but okay now the second way will be you can use this history let's say you wanted to get the fifth version or something right so i'll say i want last five histories okay and uh, from these last five histories okay, let me save it yeah last five hit histories i want the second one from top okay so what i will do i'll simply use this yeah okay sorry yeah so i have this and or i can directly use it why to unnecessarily do it yeah and here i can use collect and it will give you an option this function actually takes row and column so let's say i want first row not the zeroth first row and first column or zeroth column whatever and i wanted to print this value let's see if it works You got it so this is the second way again okay um, and the third way is basically uh, you can directly use collect okay and uh, instead of zero you can put uh, the column name okay but generally i use this one only okay uh, there is one more way i'll show you this is the last so whatever versions you have let's say you want the uh, you, you don't want all those versions you know that you wanted to go and see the last version only right the second last so let's say history okay and then after this history what you can do you can use let's say you wanted to get the first history then first okay first so it will give you the first row okay now you want that row as a sorry as a dictionary okay now you have the dictionary with you right now simply you can go and get the version number okay and yeah that's it i think you can directly print it so you can use any of these approaches and you can get the version 
required version okay so this is the last way whatever i know so far so i can get it in a different ways and i can use this over here okay so let's say i have this version now mm. let's say i will use this one let's say final i'll rerun it i'll use this final as a part of this value instead of this value when i run it it will give me the second last one Mm, why it didn't work? Invalid syntax. Okay, I mistake. It added something. Yeah. So you know you are getting hundred records, the last version. So this is how you can travel back, okay, in the delta table and get the previous versions of delta table if required. I hope this video will help you.